this tutorial I'll show you how to use the high pass tool and the blending modes uh, to bring out more detail out of this picture. The first thing I want to do is I'll click Control, Alt, and 0 to fit the image on um, the screen. If you are a Mac user, you can use Command, Alt, and 0. You can move the image around by holding the Shift key and um, by using the Move tool. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go to my Layers palette, click on your layer, and duplicate it by dragging it over uh, the Create New Layer icon, which is located at the bottom of your Layers palette. If you wish, you can name your layer uh, by double-clicking on the text line. I'll call it number 2. Now what you want to do is you want to click on um, your blending modes and select overlay from your list. This is going to darken your image, but there's no need to worry. We should go to Filter, Other, and click on High Pass. And before we start, make sure that your Preview button is selected. There's only one tool within this box, and it's the Radius tool. So if you move the slider to the left or the right, you can see what it does. And I think I'm going to set my slider to 57. And um, let's hit OK. There is not much difference, but we are not done yet. I'm going to do this uh, three more times, and you can simply do that by just following the same process. Again, uh, click, drag, and drop, or you can hit Control J or Command J if you are using a Mac. Then I want to go back to my background layer and click on it and duplicate it by hitting the Control J. I'm using a PC. You should hit con Command J if you are using a Mac. And then I'm going to have a second layer um, that came from my backgrounds layer, from my background layer. And um, select all four layers, and on your keyboard, hit Control or Command E. This is going to merge these layers. Now what I want to do is I want to use my brush tool, which is located right here, or you can hit letter B on your keyboard. And then um, hit letter D on your keyboard. This is going to reset your colors right here. Your foreground should be white, and your background should be black, so you can hit letter X on your keyboard. It's going to switch them to. Now what we want to do is we want to increase the size of your brush. Go to size and let's light it to oh, that's that's too big. Let's do 100. That's pretty good. And then go to layer layer mask and click on hide all. This is going to inverse your mask and make sure that the black thumbnail is selected. So now what we want to do is, again, we have to make sure that this is white and the background is black. We are going to bring back the detail that we have created using the uh, high pass tool. So let's go ahead and do that. You can always increase the size of your brush if you need to. And I think my opacity is a little too strong, so I'm going to change my opacity to, let's make it 30. And let's change the brush size. And if you mess up, don't worry, just switch back to black by hitting the X key. And I think I messed up here. Let's go back to white. And you can see that this is bringing out a lot of detail. And the picture is a lot more clear.
And this is what we have. This is what we had before. And this is what we have now. So you can use the high pass tool to make your picture stand out, to make it more clear, um, and to sharpen it, of course.